Huh? Uh, I mean, this is number 25 in your work. Nope. So I just want to go through and show you guys exactly what to do for this one. So what this problem is asking us to do is write the first uh, four terms of the geometric sequence, and then determine if the common ratio, um, write the n term of the sequence as a function. Uh, actually, we already have the function of n. Um, so <coughs> what we're going to do for this problem is we're just going to plug in find the first four terms. So if we already know a sub 1, if I want to figure out what a sub 2 is, then I'll put a 2 in for my k. So I can say a sub 2 plus 1 equals negative 3 halves times, um, I'm sorry, let's plug in 1, right? You plug a 1 in for there. So therefore, I can find a sub 1. Well, now we know that a sub 1 plus 1 is a sub 2 equals negative 3 halves times a sub 1, which is 6, OK? Which in this case, you can see that negative 3 halves times 2 is going to equal negative 9. Then I want to figure out what a sub 3 is. So I'll do a sub 2 plus 1 equals negative 3 halves times a sub 2. Well, now we know a sub 2 is now equal to negative 9. And then we do negative 3 times. Um, Negative 3 times negative 9 is going to be huh? close, 27. And then divide by 2 would be um, huh? 13 and a half, yes. And then we'll do our final one, a sub 4. So I'll do a sub 3 plus 1, which equals a sub 4, which is going to equal negative 3 halves times our a sub 3, which is 13.5. And then we'll have, let's see, that would be 39, so 40.5. And then divide by 2, so it'd be 20.25. Yeah, it's negative. Thank you. OK. And that's it. How to find your first four terms with the recursive geometric sequence. Wow, how easy. OK. <laughs>